In this video, what we're going to cover is the use of another plugin, and you will find from these videos we're using a lot of plugins. They're kind of the bread and butter, I guess you could say, of WordPress. So what we're going to be doing is SEO. So previously we worked on, you know, headline tags, meta keywords, descriptions, and titles, as well as the URL name. With WordPress, there's already a pre-built version of that, which requires, again, no coding. So if we type in SEO, we're going to want to use SEO by Yoast. So let's just find it if it's available here. If not, just uh, like that. And we want Yoast SEO. Install. Activate. And this does not become necessarily available. Oh, it's just right here. What you can do, though, is more simply just go to your pages, first page, and now you'll see below here is the SEO section. And what's great is it grades it for you, too. So uh, what it will do is search and give you basically a light next to your page. Uh, did you do good SEO or not? And you can see it's available here now, too. Uh, SEO it's gray because we haven't done anything but if you have done a bad job it may show uh, red or orange if you've done a good job it will show green so part of your assignment is making sure all of your pages are optimized so you will want to make sure that you are very uh, adamant in making sure your your uh, title your URL which is available here and editable keyword uh, you typically for here may only have to use one you can use more. Your title, which is customizable uh, here, but you can also do it here. And your meta description. So it's very straightforward. You're just going to want to make sure you're conscious of doing that for each page.